How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Once again, I'm right back at you. I'm finna talk to you. Tuning in one more time on Face the Bully. And this weekend, you know, for the maybe like past two weeks, I'm pretty sure everybody got a chance to see the rumble in the jungle. I'm pretty sure everybody saw the rumble in the jungle. It was a lot of nice little exotic dogs off in there, you know? I mean, and it was a couple dogs that shouldn't have been up in there, but they were in there. Like I seen a dog that was limping. And he was walking around. I don't know if the, the dog should have been walking around in the ring with a limp. I mean, there couldn't have been a trophy that dog could have possibly won. And I seen a lot of, man, just a lot of nice dogs. I also seen Will Smith slap the hell out of Chris Rock. <laughs> I also seen Will Smith slap the hell out of Chris Rock. Man, let's get back to the bullies, though. Why did he slap Chris Rock like that? I swear, I would never be talking about nobody's wives. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how your wife looks. Shout out to Jada. I've always been a Jada Pickett fan, Will Smith fan, and a Chris Rock fan. But when you step out of line and start talking about somebody's wife, talking about he can't wait to the next episode, and, you know... It was all bad with that comment, bro. But, you know, back to the Rumble in the Jungle, <clears throat> which was a nice show that was put on by June. You know, that boy June put that show on, man. That was a nice show. Most deaf, that was a nice show. The show was dope. I like that show. Give you thumbs up on that show. You know, and, I, and, I, and I'm not going to say it was a... A crowd full of bad dogs. You know? Not gonna say that. Not gonna say it was a crowd full of bad dogs. You know? But, and to be truthful, before I say too much, it was a big crowd. You actually had, like, up in the thousands of people at this at this show. It was thousands of people at this show. I mean, that's how much the exotic has been produced to where in one town, you know, I mean, you had people coming from everywhere to come see these dogs, you know. And like I said, some of them should have been there and some of them shouldn't have been there, you know, but you could just see how how the American Kennel Club English Bulldog has been taken and has been bred into so many different colors. I mean, there was so many different color EB looking dogs. I mean, they could have been different type of exotics that just had EB blood. I don't know. I don't know because I don't really know what makes an exotic. You know, it's a brachiocephalic dog, so I'm knowing for sure that brachiocephalic dogs had to make it, but, you know, a lot of the dogs that were at the Rumble in the Jungle, I don't, I'm just not sure what what they call them. They call them exotic, so that's what I'm going to call them. But they take, they have taken that English bull, I mean, that, yeah, that English bulldog, and they have bred that thing into so many colors. I mean, were the colors pretty? Yeah. Some of the colors were pretty. Were the dogs healthy? Some of them were. Some of them wasn't. You know, I mean, it was a lot of nice dogs in there. It was some 
It was some exotics with tails. There were some exotics with no tails. And there was some. It was just a blend of the exotic world. Something that, you know, as a person who probably have never saw an exotic dog, I'm pretty sure you got your your taste of it at, at this show. Or even if you you saw the show on YouTube. I mean, it was a lot of dogs there. And me, I'm just tripping like I seen so many different English bulldogs and Frenchy bulldogs to the point to where it still leads me to ask, where did you get the paperwork that some of them say AKC? on the paperwork when the AKC said that they don't even register the dogs. And, you know, the ones that do have proper registration, shout out to them. You know, I can't say nothing about the proper registration of the exotic dog, but, you know, most definitely when it comes to the AKC, I still have yet to see a Merle English Bulldog or a Frenchie or a Blue Frenchie walk on the floor in there, you know, or, you know, what else color Frenchies they be having them all white ones. Ain't none of them never pied. Most Frenchie litters will give you at least one pied dog or a brindle dog. None of them dogs in there were brindle. If they were brindle, it was an off color to it it wasn't brindle you know you know how we used to looking at that blackish gold brindle you know the pit bull used to have a brindle still do we used to looking at that brindle that was the brindle we was used to looking at what it today, that ain't the brindle that, that's being shown. Most of the brindle dogs were like yellow looking colored. And, you know, some of them were gold looking colored. And they were, you know, it was some pretty dogs in there. And I remember, you know, I kept saying, oh man, look, Edge is dead. Edge is dead. Razor's Edge will never die. Razor's Edge will never die. But one thing I can say is, damn, they producing them other dogs so much that you can't tell me that everybody wants these dogs, these Razor's Edge dogs. They don't even want them no more. I mean, and if they get them, they try to make them pocket. They want to go on and make them shorter. It's like every single kennel that I look at, you know, and I like that short stuff. Don't don't get it twitted. You know, I like that uh <clears throat> little miniature dog, little pocket dog. You know, I like that, but it don't say nothing about a bulldog ever being added to the program on the paperwork on anybody's paperwork. When you can clearly see from anybody's kennel. It don't even matter who kennel it is. <clears throat> if you're not breeding Pure Razor's Edge. It don't even matter whose kennel it is. You can see that there was a bulldog somewhere. Added in the program. You can just clearly see it. Dogs that would never look like Dax was being bred back in the 90s, coming out big and tall like the notorious Juan Gotti. Like Monster. And then they, the whole feature of the dog just changes. And you know me, I have never went to a veterinarian school. Although I have studied a lot on a dog, I have never went to a veterinarian school. But I, I know a lot about a dog, you know, I read I used to I used to do research on dogs when I was in elementary school and get high grades for it. 
My mom used to always be be getting on me because I find stray dogs that wasn't even bullies or pit bulls. They just were nice dogs that would follow me home. And I'd bring them home. My mom would always make me get rid of dogs, man. So when you look at a dog, I look at a dog. I, I damn near had the tendency of telling you sometimes what breed of dog that is, even if it's a mutt. And some of the, the bullies are mutts. They're so crossbred that you know, you know, that's that's a mutt, man. You putting anything off in there. You put a bulldog in there, you put you put a Staffordshire in there, and then you took it in and bred it to somebody's bully. Now you got puppies that you don't even know if you know some of these bullies could be people biters. Just because you don't know what the hell is in it. You don't have you even done the history on an English bulldog to find out. If any of them have ever tried to bite a kid, which, you know, most of them might not try to bite humans unless they don't know them. I done been, man, right here, right here. I done been right here where I'm at over here. I done been right to somebody's house who got English bulldogs. And when you go to that gate, them big old fat dogs that come running up to that gate going crazy. Barking until somebody come out there and they will not let you in. And they're not very big dogs. And you can look at those dogs and then look at the modern day bullies and you can tell that there's been something added. Them dogs don't look nothing like old school Razor's Edge. And when, I, and when you look at the rumble in the jungle, you can just see all types of blends of dogs that have been brachiocephalic dogs that have been blended into one pot to... Look, looking for a certain look. None of them dogs in there looked at the same. None of them dogs in that building looked the same. They were all exotic dogs, but not one, you know, they wasn't the same. They was cute in their own little ways, but they wasn't the same. And that's on Face the Bully, man. They wasn't the same. You got thousands of people in this building. But the dogs don't look nowhere near the same. You got competition. Every, the, the exotic game is just a competition game. That's just all it is to it. It's a competition game that's overwhelming the bully game because of the so-called money that people think they, that they can get from these dogs. Even June said that, you know, a lot of these people ain't, ain't getting the money that we think they're getting. But we can we can see clearly that they breeding them motherfucking dogs 90 going north. We can see that clearly. You can see that clearly until they get the right dog. They're 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 just they're just breeding them. You look in the whole building and every single dog looked different. Some had ears, some didn't. One person had a uh, camera on a dog for at least five, ten minutes. That dog never even moved. He was in a nice position. He was in a nice posing position. But he never moved. He never he never moved. Some of them is like, like they, you know, like when a person forgets things a lot, you know. They like that. Like they close to dementia. That's just what it is. You know, like they just. You can tell, you know, they didn't have they, they like a person that didn't had a seizure before. And, you know, they're just not the same after having a stroke. You know, a person that didn't had a stroke before. You know, what I'm saying you're just not the same after having that stroke. But these dogs haven't had a stroke, but they're not the same. They just, <clears throat> none of them seem like they was even active. And I swear, man, I've seen a person walking a dog around the ring with a limp. This dog was clearly limping. He was limping, bobbing, limping, bobbing, just limping, man. You know, and it's cool. I like dogs, man. I really like dogs. I really like dogs. And if I wanted an exotic dog, I could have an exotic dog at any time. 
But if I was to get it exotic dog, I'd, I'd want the dog to do like my little mutt dog does. I mean, it, my dog ain't a mutt. It's it's a uh, miniature pincher cross to a papillon. But, you know, you ain't supposed to take no miniature pincher and cross it to no papillon. Well, my dog is it's a miniature pincher and a papillon. It's a mutt. But you want to know what? You throw a ball and she'll break a window going to go get that ball. I don't I don't want a dog that, you know, just don't excite me at all. I want a dog that excites me that that will fetch or, or sit or play with me or walk down the street with me and is not afraid to go in the water and, and things. You know, you know you want a real dog. That's just all it is to it. <clears throat> you know? So when it comes to the American bully, when you look at the rumble in the jungle and you see thousands and thousands of people at these shows, and then you look at Killer Noise Kennels videos, shout out to Kino, Killer Noise Kennels, you look out to you look at the Kino, Killer Noise Kennel videos, and he be showing his shows, he be going to, but that that them shows just wasn't jam packed like these shows. You know, you look at any other uh, real bullies, the bullies that I really like, I like the big bullies, I like. You know, I, I mean, I wish there was tons of that old school blood around, but it's just like Edge is dead, man. And, it's, and, and, and you know, I, I would never dis, disrespect the American bully or disrespect Razor's Edge, period. Never in life. You know what I mean? Never. But, damn. Fuck. You know what I mean? When you're just looking at people, dogs, and you can tell I would, if I breed to that dog, I'm incorporating Bulldog in my bloodline. No matter how I look at it. You know what I mean? Every single person out here then jumped on the bandwagon. That's why you can't breed with nothing out here. But then when you sit here and you go on the internet and you say, well, I'm going to breed with a dog on the internet. Shit. Man. That dog be full of, you know, the dog be short. You know what I mean? Some of them have long tongues because they just breathe hard. You know? And, and some of them is just wild. You know what I mean? I started noticing that too about a lot of bullies. Like they like some of them is wild. A wild dog. You know what I mean? Some much that you get is wild. I like a mutt dog. I, I mean that's just me. I like dogs. <laughs> Every single dog that I say, I like. You know what I mean? But it's just like when I looked at the Rumble in the Jungle and it was such a big dog show and none of the dogs in there looked the same. None of the dogs in there looked the same. And, you know, there were some dogs that should have never even walked on the floor. But, you know, there was some good dogs in there that could represent, you know, in the future. That could carry the exotic blood and represent it in the future. It was some of those up in there. You know what I mean? I mean, it was some... I seen a dog, you know what I'm saying? He had everything. He had a tail. He had ears. He was an exotic dog. You know, I don't be giving, you know, praises to ugly dogs, but that wasn't an ugly dog. You know what I mean? I, if it's a small dog and it looks presentable, yeah, I'll get it. I mean, I'll take a bulldog. I'll take a Frenchie. I'll take an English. And I'll take an a, a exotic dog if it's built right and they don't... It, it just, you know, it's a built right dog. But not only that, when you go to a show and there's thousands of people in there, you don't just see that one only built right dog. You know, there's, you know, at least 20, 30 people that got that same dog. It's probably a different color, but it's that same dog and it's built right just like him. All right. All right. I'm ready to get an exotic now. You know what I'm saying? I'll have one, but I just can't have one that's not built right. That's my thing. He got to be built right. And I'm pretty sure everybody, you know, didn't got a chance to go check out that rumble in the jungle. You know, it was a nice show. That's all I can say about the show is it most definitely was nice. But none of the dogs in there looked the same to me at all. And I seen a lot of dogs in there that were pretty. You know, I seen a lot of dogs in there. Like I said, the table things just ain't going to quit, you know. They're going to have them tables to where they putting them dogs on the tables and got banners and, and you know, it, it, was, it, it, was a, it was a nice show from what I got to see. I just want to see an, a, a line of exotics that look the same, that, you know, 
yeah, maybe they might be different colors, you know, and then, then you know, and you already put AKC on your paperwork, but, you know, and, and then you don't show the Bulldogs that you really put on your paperwork, and then ain't nobody showing where the Merle even came from. Nobody showing where the Merle has come from on this paperwork. That's, you know, not a mutt. I mean, a, a mutt is when you take dogs that don't, that aren't in the same category and you breed them together. And then you probably take that dog, which is two different breeds already, and go breed it to another different breed. You're just making mutts. Now, no one, we're just going to be silent on where this Merle came from. Where could it have possibly come from, the Merle? Where could it have possibly come from? Where did the blue come from in the little bitty Frenchy Bulldogs? You see the blue, you know? The little bitty Frenchies is blue. Where'd that come from? What you, what'd you use to make the little bitty Frenchies blue? You know? <laughs> <I'll> be... <laughs> That's why... <laughs> See, one thing I'll be doing is just tripping on the dog. I'm not talking about it. I'm just tripping on the dog. You know, I want to know what, what's in it, what made it like that. That's probably what makes me like I am on Face the Bullet. That's probably what makes me like I am. I just want to talk about a dog. This channel is talking about dogs, not talking about the person. I mean, I don't, I don't care what you do for a living or who you are. But when I see your dog, I just want to ask questions about your dog. Like what did turn what what did you use to turn your dog Merle? Yeah, I would even like to know what did you use to turn the French bulldog Fluffy? Like what what was used? Which dog was used to make him Fluffy? And that and now if you tell me you got a Fluffy Merle, well damn, you ain't putting none of these dogs on the paperwork. You just putting Frenchie on the paperwork. Fluffy Frenchie. Our color for Merle. On the paperwork. <laughs> our color for Merle on the paperwork. Stop it. And then you put AKC and say that this is a high priced, high profile dog. It's not. It don't make you a reptable breeder to have a dog that I don't own. You have to have dogs that we can all own. If I want a Dobie right now, I could go get a Dobie. If I want a blue healer right now, I can go and get a healer. Because there's plenty of these dogs. But if we want one of y'all dogs... We can't go get that dog. Not that specific dog that you have. Because there's not plenty of those dogs. It's just your dog. That's crazy. You know? But I really do like how it's a lot of them, but they don't look the same. That's just my take on the rumble in the jungle. I liked it. But, I, I mean, I got a chance to see uh, at least a thousand dogs that don't look the same. Uh, I got a chance to see at least a thousand different representations of the English Bulldog and the Frenchy Bulldog. Because that's what's being used the most. You can just look at these dogs and tell that's what's being used the most. So shout out to, you know, the promoters and things for the Rumble in the Jungle. Y'all did a good job. Y'all did a good job. You know what I mean? You're bringing these people together and everybody is having fun with dogs. You know? It's all about the dogs. Not, not seeing your girlfriend come up in there with her boo-boo hanging out. And she got, you know, her two things up top hanging out. You know? And she up in there dancing and she a doing a jerk, true winner, you know. She going crazy up in there, bopping. 
She on she thotty right now. She bopping for real, twerking. All up in there. And this kid's with ice cream cones in their hand looking at her like, what's that dance? I seen that dance on YouTube. That that right there. They up in there doing the cute cut. Now, let me cut it out. For real, though. Y'all don't need to be doing all of that in front of these kids. Shit, throw a car show. If you want to do something in front of the kids, throw a car show. Go out there and put the bouncy things up. Sell snow cones. Do something that a parent would do. You be at home twerking in front of your kid, bopping. Bopping in front of your kid on that thotty in front of your kid. You know what I mean? You can't be doing all that in front of your kid. That's that's just not handling it. That's not handling right there, man. That's not him. So until we meet again, everybody stay safe. Stay out of crowds. Stay free from COVID, please. And keep these dogs safe, fed, and protected. Right here on Face the Bullet.